Addiction experts expect more Maine people will die from drug overs overdoses in 2022 than in previous years. That's been the trend for the last few years, and experts say that crisis is being exacerbated by the lack of treatment programs. But there is some hope. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee explains how sober living homes are helping to fill that gap accessible to everybody. As a manager of the Sober House, Angie Smith runs a tight ship. Well, they got their curfew, which is uh, 10 p.m. weekdays, weekends, 1130. She is the house manager for the Enzo Recovery Home for Women. Enzo Recovery operates recovery homes and treatment facilities for both men and women in Augusta and Sanford. You guys know. There are also mandatory house meetings where the women learn how to administer Narcan that can reverse an opioid overdose. Call 911 immediately, then administer the naloxone. The women do chores, shop and cook meals and attend intensive outpatient therapy five days a week at a clinic next door. The majority of the staff are also in active recovery, including Angie. My son died in 2005, which led me into my um, addiction. The loss of her young son, Tegan, resulted in a dependency on heroin. Angie did several stints in long-term treatment facilities, but always relapsed. Finally, after promising her oldest son that she would get clean as a graduation present, she came to Enzo in the fall of 2020. He doesn't want to get that call that his mother's overdosed. But abiding by the rules and attending daily therapy sessions was tough at first. Have to ask for permission to do things is completely different. Angie learned to take accountability for her addiction and after making progress was allowed to take college classes with the goal of becoming a substance use counselor. Steve Danzig is the executive director of Enzo Recovery. He says a program supports clients with social services, job and educational opportunities to help them be successful when they are ready to live on their own. While not a replacement for residential treatment, recovery homes are providing a critical safety net at a time when inpatient beds in Maine are extremely limited. If we don't have a place to put somebody, we will find a place to put somebody. I, you can't wait. We're going to go over. Now a certified peer recovery coach, Angie is also helping other women struggling with the same demons. She's also forever grateful to her son. He tells me, obviously, that he loves me and he's very proud of me. Serving as an inspiration that sobriety is possible. In Augusta, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Mm -hmm. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, there are resources available. You can call 211 or the Maine Statewide Crisis Hotline. That number is right there on your screen.